What's going on guys, your boy Amazing, we're back with another video, and in today's video guys, we'll be going over the bird mechanics and explaining how every phase of the bird works so that you know how to beat the, uh, the bird. So let's hop into the video. Before we actually hop into the video, make sure to subscribe to your boy Amazing, we are on the road to 25k subscribers, man. At the time of recording this video, I'm at 20,870 subscribers on the YouTube channel, man. So close to 21k, guys. Definitely make sure to push for it, man. And uh, yeah, let's hop into the video and talk about the bird. Alright, so I've done multiple videos on clearing the bird, so you guys can watch those videos if you need, like, you know actual like hands-on guidance but this is going to be the uh discussion about each phase of the bird and we're actually going to be talking about um everything you need to know about it basically so this is stage one of the bird um he's actually red uh recommended combat class uh i don't exactly know i think you always go first and then um yeah so that's going to be the basic info about the about the boss right uh phase one he doesn't do anything too crazy he has a single target spike card and he has a aoe bleed card um so nothing too crazy um in terms of that um he inflicts a, a straight up attack percent on his ultimate so he's just going to be able to do that and then in terms of passes right here um he, he's gonna have these like built in no matter what right um he's gonna ignore evasion when attacking he's gonna decrease the enemy's uh, regeneration rate recovery rate uh life steal decreases the hero's damage taken from ultimate moves uh, basically just a bunch of uh, uh really really strong debuff stuff as well right so that's nothing you really need to uh like think about phase one phase two and phase three are all basically the same the only things that really increase uh if you go from phase two to phase three is that uh i think i think it, yeah it adds uh this one right here so the hero cannot take damage uh for more than 30 percent of the max hp so that's when damage cap actually kicks in um and then also another thing as well um i think it's uh i think it's this one right here oh uh, no 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 is it I'm trying to see like which passive it is oh i think it's this so it does lightning strike every two turns and then uh increases the number of skills uh uses by two um compared to oh no i think that one has it as well so basically for phase three the only thing that happens is that you gain a passive right so um these are going to be the passives that are available on phase three so you have the crit damage increase one the keen eyes one and the armor destruction one in terms of which one is the best uh if you get the crit damage increase one that one's definitely the best you can get um because you no character really uses gauge reduction on the bird and uh yeah i mean he only gains the crit damage if you take his gauge and even if he gains crit damage it's not like he's going to be able to crit you anyway if you're using like matrona or dn so you know the odds of him critting you anyway are probably not gonna be that crazy so you know this one's definitely the best this one is the second best um but it honestly depends like if you don't get crit this one has no effect um but if you do get crit you get a defense related down by 40 percent which is a lot and then uh keen eyes is definitely the worst one because it is basically just death pierce passive on you and uh, you definitely don't want that um but yeah and then moving back into phase four phase four of the of the bird is super important um because right here as you guys can see on the pattern description the demonic beast is immune to reflect damage and its it defense greatly increases at the start of the battle if it does not take damage it deals corrosion damage on all enemies based on max hp and in addition it restricts the recovery related effects of all enemies uh after three turns then increases its attack the battle becomes increasingly harder as it continues so basically this phase of the bird you guys want to have your either your power strike character your amplify meliodas or you want someone that can dish out big damage to basically nuke this phase of the bird if you guys have seen my bird streams you know that's why i saved my kusak ult that's why i saved my miguel ult that's why i saved my amplify cards to meliodas that's because i need to do as much damage as possible on phase four to kill as quick as possible um because he has so much defense um you know we're able to do a ton of damage with power strike and you know meliodas being like how strong he is he's able to just like brute force it so on, on phase four basically one, phase one two and three you just want to be stocking up uh your ultimate on your dps's and then you know your uh, power strike cards as well moving into phase four you just want to drop all your power strike cards kill the phase and then you're done with uh stage one of the of the bird so moving into stage two here let's actually talk about it so stage two um, phase one is basically just going to be the exact same thing. Um, he does have a buff skill now, which increases basic stats, but it's nothing too crazy. And he also has a amplify card as well. Um, but it's not going to be like, you know, too broken or anything like that. Um, basically the bird just has a little bit more health and stuff compared to the last fight. And, uh, I think, uh, yeah, so he does lightning strike every three turns. So he has, uh, this card, um, 
But yeah, like uh, basically, phase one is uh, fairly easy, nothing really to worry about. Phase two is where you actually get a buff and um, the bird actually um, has a, a, a mechanic, right? So let's talk about the buffs first. So the buff for phase two, uh, floor two, you want to make sure you get either Desperate Resolve um, or I think, I think uh, Max HP Decrease and Desperate Resolve are probably your best ones. This one's probably the worst one, the Attack and Defense Decrease, uh, just because decreasing the enemy's Attack and Defense by 5% for 5 turns, this is applying on you, by the way. When it says Decreasing Enemy, this is the buff the bird gets, so it's applying on you. So you want to have this one because the, the Gauge Fill is probably the most like irrelevant uh, you know, passive in general, because you know, if he alter, you're usually going to tank it anyway. So Desperate Resolve is probably your best. Um, this one you don't want, and then this one is pretty decent as well. And then moving back into uh, Phase 2 here. The main gimmick of Phase 2 is that you need to have a stance skill up. As you can see on the pattern description, the Demonic Beast is immune to reflect damage and uses a attack skill, which uh, deals great damage to all enemies every set number of turns. If the attack lands on a taunted enemy, they will not take damage. So basically what you guys want to do is you want to make sure you have a taunt up um on the second turn no no not even on the second turn on every turn you want to make sure you have a taunt up because um he's just gonna use um air blast every single turn but it misses when attacking enemies using a taunt so basically if you guys have seen my streams what i like to do is i like to either use a dn taunt skill or i'll just brute force the the whole phase and kill with kusak ultimate because he has abyss you're able to kill but if you guys don't know already he also does have a revive on this phase so he's going to heal 100% of defense when the hero's HP reaches zero once per battle. So on this phase, he will revive. And so the only way you can kill him is if you have a character like the one Essenor or Kusak that can bypass that damage um, in one go because he has damage cap as well where he makes it so you can't do more than 30% of his max HP. So that's something to take into account. I would highly recommend you just bring a taunt unit and just use taunts. You don't have to brute force the phase. Um, if you just taunt up, uh, you should be fine and you won't have to really worry about it. So that's going to be phase two. Phase three um, of stage two of the bird. Um, this is going to be the, uh, it's kind of important as well. Uh, the demonic beast is immune to reflect damage and its stats become enhanced at set amounts of remaining HP. You must pay close attention to the damage dealt in battle. So basically how it works, um, depending on the percent of HP of the bird, um, I think it's about like 20, no, it's like 30% in and he gets, uh, I think it's a, um, it's a, what, what, like a defense related buff if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken. I don't think they show it here. Um... Yeah, I don't think they show it here, but he does get a defense related buff um, at around like 30% HP and then at around like 50% HP ish, 40% uh, he gains a, a recovery or regeneration one where he basically just full heals if you don't kill him. So if you leave him at around like 50% HP, he's just going to full heal on you and then you're just going to get cucked. Um, so basically what you want to be doing is you want to do one big amount of damage. So you hit damage cap on the first hit. And then after that, you just want to nuke him down so that he uh, doesn't get any more buffs. And then when he gets like super low on HP as well, um, he does also gain a, a pierce rate buff and he'll start doing a lot of damage. So you basically on this fight, guys, um, you can take it slow, do the first card that does damage cap. 166k is how much you can do damage cap. So you want to do 166k and then follow up with all your big damaging cards and just kill him on the phase three. So that's basically what you want to be doing. And then moving into phase four here phase four you actually do get another passive as well so you can actually talk about phase four passives the best phase four passive you could probably get is going to be um I, I would say in my opinion um probably the damage decrease one right here this top one um because this one he applies damage reduction buff effects and then this one's just 40 percent outright well this is 40 percent um on single targets and 30 percent on aoe so it's a little bit better on this one compared to this one just because this one on aoe's you do a little bit more damage um but it's basically the same thing between these two you can either you can get either of these two um you can honestly get like any of these three and you'll be fine uh but my recommendation is get this one if possible and then or this one as well um so yeah those are gonna be the passives you want as well and then moving back into phase four phase four has nothing special you basically just kill him man um he does apply explosion on you uh but it's not anything too crazy you basically just cleanse it and you'll be fine um bird phase four on stage two is one of the easier phases uh for sure man um because there's nothing to really worry about he doesn't have a vade or anything like that he just increases basic stats um so yeah you just want to basically kill him on that phase okay moving on to stage or uh, floor three floor three is very important guys very very, very important so the first part of uh, floor three here phase one is he's just gonna basically uh seal your rank twos he has blockade so basically what happens is
is when he does a no it's not this skill when he does a aoe he only allows the use of rank one skills for one turn so basically he's gonna make it so that you're not able to use any of your rank two skills and so getting through this phase is gonna take a, a pretty decent amount of time also the bird does have a lot of hp on this phase as you can see he's already at 748k on the first phase so he's really really tanky so that's something to take into account as well but basically you just want to do a bunch of regular attack skills rank ones and ultimates and you can take them out and then moving into the phase two here phase two does actually have a mechanic here but the most important thing about this phase is that he actually applies a dissolve effect um which will actually remove your gauge basically so when he's at about um i think it's like 30 percent hp um he will actually remove your gauge right and it also says here and the follows a pattern depleting enemy ultimate move gauge in certain conditions so when he gets around like you know it's like 30 percent of uh, remaining hp he'll have this like little gray buff and when you attack into it and don't kill him he's gonna apply a uh, dissolve effect on you and you're gonna lose your ultimate so that's something to take into account for sure um so you don't want to like go too quickly through this phase because you do want to build up strong cards for phase three because that's gonna be very important uh but you basically just want to go through this phase uh kind of take your time with it get through it and then move into phase three which phase oh no i forgot also to mention about the uh, buster phase two um for this one you just want uh this one right here um i think the increase of the hero's attack related stats for for every time an enemy uh ultimate move gauge reaches five this one's uh fine because the attack related he gets only five percent is nothing too crazy i'd say this is the best passive and then um powerful strike is probably the second and then this is the third it's not it's not anything too bad um reflect no damage reflect is actually the second best actually this one and then this one that's what I would re uh, recommend, actually. Okay, moving into uh, phase three now. Phase three is super important, guys, because the boss gets a evasion buff on his buff skill as well. And another thing to note is that every time um every time you uh attack uh attack him and not kill him he's actually gonna apply a uh, gray debuff on your team every single turn so the first turn he disables um i think it's no the first turn he disables stand skills the second turn he dis disables debuff skills the third turn uh the third turn he disables buff skills and now on the fourth turn he disables attack skills so the most time you want to spend on phase three of stage of stage three is three turns maximum do not spend any longer than three turns on that phase you have to kill within three turns i can't i can't stress this enough that's why a lot of people fail the bird because they don't know that stage three is where you just need to do a ton of damage and move into phase four um if you do enough damage and you actually clear phase three you can move into phase four and if we talk about phase four buffs before we actually get into it the phase four buffs the best buff you can get is going to be the weapon destruction pass over here this one is super useful because all it does is whenever he does a single target attack he's just going to decrease the attack related stats of that person and if you have a taunt character they're just going to be the one that gets the attack related down um the worst passive you can get is definitely overcome crisis this one is where he basically full heals when he's above um 25 or when he's below 25 percent hp and gets all stats up by 15 percent, which is really really bad for your team and then reviving with 50 percent max hp is not too bad i'd say this one's definitely the best this is second best this is third best um but you definitely want to get the weapon destruction one if you want a, a pretty smooth clear but moving back into phase four no notable things to know is that he has evasion on this uh, phase he does it like every few turns but basically how it works is you just want to kill him as fast as possible man uh use your amplifies use your your uh, power strikes um after you've done phase three it's going to be kind of hard to brute force phase four um but if you style if you have like Miguelda and meliotis and you have like a ton of stacks you shouldn't really need to worry about it man um you just got to keep uh, healing and doing a ton of damage and uh yeah that's basically how you would go through beating the bird on that phase right there so that's gonna be the uh you know the overview there guys on how uh on the the passes and like you know the general like gist of how the bird works so let me know if this how this video helped you guys um i know it's uh you know it's not actually a gameplay video it's just kind of a talking video but i hope you guys enjoyed regardless don't forget to like comment subscribe as always if you guys want to see more videos like this definitely let me know in the comment section below let me see you guys in the next video peace out and have a great rest of your day